Okay, assalamu alaikum cam. Picking up right where we left off. We're gonna read through this entire chart. Alright, I hope you can see. I know it's a little bit blurry, but let's go. Okay, so just to explain the chart real quick. The top here is maldi, which is past tense. Muldari, present tense. Mastar, which is the verbal noun, which is where you take a verb, you remove the doer, and you remove the tense. All you're left with is the concept, right? Ismul fa'il which is the doer, that is a noun. This is madli mabni ala al-majhul. So this is the past tense in the passive tense. And we said the passive tense was where you remove the doer. So rather than he hit, it is he was hit. Right? The doer is unknown now. And this is mudari majhul. So this is where in the present tense the doer is unknown. So rather than he is hit, it becomes he is being hit. Right? He is being hit. We don't know who's doing the hitting anymore. Then we said the masdar repeats itself for the sake of flow when reading it. And then after we have the ismul fa maf'ul, which is simply just taking the first family and putting it on the pattern of maf'ul. And then for all the other families, all you have to do is take the ismul fa'il, which is over here, right, for the other families. And you change the second last letter from a kasra to a fatha. And then you get this object, which is ismul maf'ul. And then we had Amr, which there was the four-step process, which we reviewed. And then Nahi, where there was the three-step process that we reviewed. So now we're going to read through everything, and I'm going to show you how to read the chart. Oh, and the red is the first family. This is second family, third family, fourth family, fifth family, sixth family, seventh family, eighth family, ninth family, tenth family. We said these colors were significant of clans, and really they're just a technique for memorizing that the red, all these ones are similar, all in family one. These ones here are all four letters, the blue, that's clan B. Clan C all have a ta in the beginning, and then clan D all have a hamza with a kasra in the beginning. So that's just there for memorization purposes, makes it easier for you. So <clears throat> let's give this a read through. So it'd be read as, فَتَحَ يَفْتَحُ فَتْحًا فَهُوَ فَاتِحٌ So he, o he opened, he opens, to open, so he is an opener, right? فَتَحَ يَفْتَحُ فَتْحًا فَهُوَ فَاتِحٌ فُتِحَ يُفْتَحُ فَتْحًا فَهُوَ مَفْتُوحٌ الْأَمْرُ مِنْهُ So the command for it is إِفْتَحْ وَنَحِي عَنْهُ لَا تَفْتَحْ And the negation for it is لَا تَفْتَحْ ضَرَبَ يَضْرِبُ ضَرْبًا فَهُوَ ضَارِ Oh, whoops, I read that wrong. نَصَرَ يَنْصُرُ نَصْرًا فَهُوَ نَاصِرٌ نُصِرَ يُنْصَرُ نَصْرًا فَهُوَ مَنْسُورٌ الْأَمْرُ مِنْهُ The command for it is أُنْصُرْ وَنَحْيِ عَنْهُ لَا تَنْصُرْ And the negation for it is لَا تَنْصُرْ ضرب يضرب ضربا فهو ضارب ضرب يضرب ضربا فهو مضروب الأمر منه اضرب ونحي عنه لا تضرب سمع يسمع سمعا فهو سامع سمع يسمع سمعا فهو مسموع الأمر منه اسمع ونحي عنه لا تسمع حسب يحسب حسبانا فهو حاسب حسب يحسب حسبانا فهو محسوب الأمر منه احسب ونحي عنه لا تحسب كرم يكرم كرامة فهو كريم and then you skip all of the مجهول and the مفعول for this because they don't exist in this particular uh, pattern and then you get الأمر منه أكرم ونحي عنه لا تكرم so be read as كرم يكرم كرامة كريم الأمر منه أكرم ونحي عنه لا تكرم. Then we get into the second family, which is علم يعلم تعليما فهو معلم علم يعلم تعليما فهو معلم. الأمر منه علم ونحي عنه لا تعلم. Then we get into family three. جاهد يجاهد جهادا. So we said here with the مستار that there could be multiple ones, but simply for the sake of recitation of this chart, you can just say one. So I personally, my preference is Jahada yujahidu jihadan Fahuwa mujahid Juhida yujahadu jihadan Fahuwa mujahad 
الأمر منه جاهد ونحي عنه لا تجاهد and then family four أسلم يسلم إسلاما فهو مسلم أسلم يسلم إسلاما فهو مسلم الأمر منه أسلم ونحي عنه لا تسلم and then family five تكلم يتكلم تكل تكلما فهو متكلم تكلم يتكلم تكلما فهو متكلم الأمر منه تكلم ونحي عنه لا تتكلم هذا فهم نمبر 6 تعارف يتعارف تعارفا فهو متعارف تعرف يتعارف تعارفا فهو متعارف الأمر منه تعارف ونحي عنه لا تتعارف اختلف يختلف اختلافا فهو مختلف اختلف يختلف اختلافا فهو مختلف الأمر منه اختلف ونحي عنه لا تختلف إن قلب ينقلب إن قلابا فهو منقلب and then there's no passive for this or object so you skip straight to الأمر منه إن قلب ونحي عنه لا تنقلب and then for this one there is no passive nor is there any command or negation so it's إحمر يحمر إحمرارا فهو محمر and then finally family ten استغفر يستغفر استغفارا فهو مستغفر استغفر يستغفر استغفارا فهو مستغفر الأمر منه استغفر استغ الأمر منه استغفر ونحي عنه لا تستغفر and yeah that is the chart this is probably one of the most intimidating things for people when it comes to Arabic but the reality is it's not different it's not difficult there's a flow to all of this actually and Ustad has set it up in a way where it's really easy to work with. When I had to memorize this the first time, every single thing in here was on the pattern of fa'ala. So it'd be fa'ala yafa'alu fa'lan fahuwa fa'ilun. It was really like mind racking just looking at fa'ala. I remember I had an exam the next day at like 9 a.m. and I hadn't touched the chart at all. So I stayed up till like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. just memorizing the entire chart. Locked myself up in my basement and just kept reciting it over and 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 over again. But the reality is when you put in the hard work, it sticks. I've forgotten this chart many times, but just simply reviewing it for like 10, 15 minutes, even though years have passed, it comes back to me. So this is your foundation cam. So much will come from this chart. So just put in the time now and inshallah ta'ala, it will be something that's very fruitful in the future. But it just takes effort now. And really, it's it's not something difficult. All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.